Welcome to this Windows channel and um, we will take a look today at the uh, new ARM Windows 10 PCs versus the standard uh, Intel x86 PCs or AMD and uh, basically kind of try to help you understand the difference in both computers. So one of the things that will happen as we get more Windows 10 on ARM PCs there will be of course a lot of people that will go and buy a PC and wonder oh what is the difference why should I choose a Windows 10 on ARM PC versus a Windows 10 regular laptop um, so first of all they're running both Windows 10 and they are both capable of pretty much the same thing so Windows 10 on the ARM device is running in an emulation which means that it runs as if it was on a regular PC but it doesn't run as smoothly. So that means if you are somebody that uses uh, software that you know needs a lot of power, if you use, if you're a gamer, of course you'll stay away from ARM uh, connected PCs because these don't offer the same performance level. They are typically a little slower, typically a little less attractive for high power demand for things that you know if you use Photoshop and stuff like that it's it's might you know it might not be a good idea for you to use that type of PC but they have a main a really good advantage and it's the battery life the Qualcomm uh, arm processors are much more energy efficient and some of them coming up because there's the new 845 the Snapdragon 845 also coming typically will give you from 20 to 25 hours of battery on the laptop. So what might appeal to you is if, for example, you are a user that doesn't ask much. You do internet, email, a little bit of word processing here and there, but the important thing for you is not only to just do your business stuff, it's also to have the longest battery life possible. Then the Windows 10 on ARM PCs become very attractive because typically they offer pretty much the double if not more of battery life than a regular PC so that's the thing here and um, that might be a game changer for some people so it's clearly two different markets that will be um, on this so as for the regular PC like I said, it has the advantage of power. If you need a very um, powerful PC that will do lots of applications that will, um, of course, you know, give you gaming possibilities and so on, then a regular PC is your thing. But battery life will be halved. Although the latest PCs, laptop PCs, are actually quite am amazing in battery life, and typically some of them reach... Uh, 8 to 10 hours easily, um, they do not give the battery life an ARM-connected PC. So your choice will be mostly around there. Um, now, you might have heard the term connected PC. Don't be fooled by that because the ARM uh, Windows 10 P PCs right now are what's called always connected. So you can, you know, with a uh, contract, have um, internet connection everywhere. Uh, it's coming to regular PCs also. Intel is and has said that uh, Intel-based connect, always connected PCs are coming in 2018. So on that side, it will be the same for both devices. And there's already out there some laptops that are capable of LTE connections if you need that type of connectivity. But uh, it really, really, in the overall scheme of things, will come down to um, the type of user you are. A regular down-to-earth user that doesn't use a lot of power, you know, just needs internet, needs email, needs a um, little bit of, um, you know, some word processing here and there, but nothing much more than that. You are okay with a Windows 10 on ARM, especially if you wish to have very long battery life when you're not connected. Where the regular PC will come in is for users that actually will give you the 
power needed for, say, Photoshop or gaming. Things that use more power than just the regular internet and email user. You will want to have a regular PC. So that's pretty much where the line is drawn between both ARM and regular PCs, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.